See what we have here. Uh, obviously, the FOMC tonight at uh, seven o'clock London time. Uh, this is the roadmap. Yeah, and it's interesting because it's actually a little bit ahead of itself. If you can see, the blue line represents what the euro do dollar's been doing, um, and the pink line is statement. This is a statement only, which is interesting because it this effectively what these are fractals. What we're measuring is what the market typically does before and after FOMC, and therefore, and the reason why they tend to work is because people have the same similar expectations, a similar position, similar nerves, similar reaction or overreaction. And as a consequence, you can see what's happened this instance, the market's got a little bit ahead of itself. Statement only has a slightly different impact. I don't, I don't know why the difference between Janet Yellen speaking and, uh, and a statement should have that much of an impact, but it clearly does. And essentially saying that this sell off at the moment, because it uh, looks like it's 24, probably 30 hours in advance, it's overdone in the short term should pull back have it as i said before in the chart have a couple of goes at the high before it rolls back down and that that ties in with the reality of what's likely to have happened today in fomc the market is is pricing in probably only now one and a half um percent in interest rates uh, by december we've got uh, rather benign or in fact lower disinflation the cpi has been down five months in a row and so the, uh, the market, not just the market's confused by what's going on, but the Fed is confused by what's going on. They've got a strong labor market that shows signs, potential signs of inflation, yet the CPI number coming out is saying it's not inflationary, it's not there. And so they're likely to be, um, they're, slight, they're likely to continue tweaking their, their comments with slightly more dovishness than they've been saying wait and see policy. And yet on the other hand, what is really interesting about today is balance sheet reduction, which they're likely to bring in probably from September onwards. But as a consequence, because they need, and the, front, the Fed's pretty good at this, they like to front run what they do. They're going to start probably start talking about the nature and timing and size of the whole balance sheet reduction. And what is interesting about that, particularly in the stock market, is I don't think people really anticipate the impact balance sheet reduction will have. It's the opposite, the negative of quantitative easing. We know full well what quantitative easing did. The dollar trash and stocks went through the roof. So if the Fed starts tightening to any real extent through balance sheet reduction without inflation, then you could, well, we believe, you'll see the stock market start turning back and the dollar will start going big. Now, quantitative easing, the dollar went weak, but only for like two to three months before it then stabilized. And so therefore the same is likely to happen with the dollar. 